With MLC Tennis Hot Shots, kids are ready for tennis as soon as they can swing a racket. With modified balls, courts and rackets to make things easy, they'll serve, rally and score right away. Visit tennis.com.au today. So welcome back to Melbourne Park, show court three. And next up we have the eighth seed in this uh, qualifying competition from Canada, Vasek Pospisil up against John Millman from Australia. So we've had an Australian victory moments ago with Peter Luchak. And uh, we've got another top match for you. Don't forget, uh, Melbourne Park will be bustling here on uh, Monday. And if you uh, need to still get your tickets, tickertech.com.au. As we've been explaining all day, there's some terrific value. The ground pass is $29. You can be entertained all day, which is, uh, which is terrific. Let's hear from the umpire now. All the lines are covered and we are using that machine. Any questions? Heads or tails? Heads. Thanks. Surf. Now joining me in the commentary box, uh, David Bidmead uh, from downstairs. It's a bit windy down there, Dave. It is, as you can see, Matt. My hair is probably not what it was at the start of the day. But it was uh, looking very slick earlier on. <laughs> That's right, but. No, it's very cut, tough conditions for the players out there, and I think this um, these conditions are going to suit Milman. He plays pretty tough, grinding tennis, and um, pretty solid game. Doesn't play too big, I guess, but um, really heavy shots, but um, fairly consistent player. So hopefully, uh, the conditions suit. Tell us a little bit about uh, John Milman. Started playing at uh, a ripe old age of four years of age. Yeah, well, I guess most professional players do start pretty young, so. Uh, look, he's a uh, yeah, Queensland boy and he's been around for a little while, about 23 I believe. Um, yeah, he's, he's done pretty well on the Futures Circuit and Challenger Circuit. Was out injured for a little while um, this or last year, 2011. And uh, yeah, he's, he's come back and towards the end of last year and, and had some pretty good results, and including uh, qualifying in Brisbane just uh, the other week. So looking pretty good and yeah, he's, he's just peaking at the right time, hopefully. It's one of the... Uh messages I suppose we've been trying to get across today uh, I, I know you hit up with a lot of these these boys and although we see all of the uh, the glitz and the glamour if you like during Australian Open time a lot of these players are really working so hard just to try and get a crack at the main draw and that's what we're all about here today yeah that's right and and as we saw the wildcard playoff about a month ago don't really get much of a break the Aussie players they sort of keep training through the summer and 
uh, where most players are in their off-season and putting their feet up. The Aussie players are, are slugging it out and trying to make sure they're in the best shape uh, for, uh, yeah, for these upcoming Australian tournaments. What did you make of the earlier matches? Uh, Peter Luchak had to really tough that, uh, that last set out, but uh, did it well in the end. Yeah, well, it's just great, just great to see him get a win. Um, I mean, hopefully he can qualify, and he's he's definitely capable of qualifying. He's a uh, he's you know was in the top hundred players for three or four years, and obviously a David a Davis Cup uh, stalwart for Australia, and hopefully be great in his last uh, Australian Open campaign to get through. So uh, John Millman warming up here on show court three. Uh, what did you make of? John Patrick uh, Smith going down there uh, in a th in a three setter. It was a it was a real tussle. It was a real tussle. It was right in the match. I, I really actually thought he was going to get over the line. I think um, probably just need to have a few more balls, a bit more penetration on them, uh, a few he more heavier balls. I think uh, a few few times he had mid court balls that didn't quite uh, yeah, do enough with them. Very tough conditions, of course, uh, in saying that. But um, it does his game does suit the win because he does like to mix it up and, and chip it around and come into net. But um, yeah, a bit disappointing for JP not to get through. But once again, he, he still plays some good tennis, and um, I think he's signing into the doubles with Greg Jones, who got a wild card right. into the Australian Open main draw. So uh, I'd say they'll probably be in the doubles as well. So another good opportunity for him. But it's just great seeing all these Aussies out here and, and competing, and you know, well, winning or, or coming very close to it. So. They're right around the mark, some of these guys. Yeah, great to be out here today. and Interesting to see uh, Melbourne Park almost in full tennis operation. Uh, the, the ball boys and the lines people, it's uh, a working week for them. and uh, The Australian Open starts here, really. That's right, we just need the weather to come on board mm. as well. You've been, you've been nice and cosy up in it's the been, uh, it's been box, very, yeah, you? yeah, you've been doing all the hard work. Don't worry about that. Would <laughs> no, you like sure. a cappuccino? In the, there's a cappuccino machine in the... No, there isn't. I'm only joking. <laughs> well, uh, John Millman, uh, wh what are we looking out for? Uh, does he come to the net? He has he has played a bit of doubles, I know that. Has played a bit of doubles. I mean, he can play doubles. He's uh, generally not someone who does come to the net a lot. Uh, you're going to see a lot of uh, really heavy tennis. He, Loves just to stick out the point. He's a grinder, basically, mm. but he's a, kind of an aggressive grinder. So um, he is super fit, and he'll be out there all day if he needs to be. So I think, um, given these conditions, he's just going to play really tough tennis, and um, that's the way he plays. And yeah, it's going to hopefully suit him. I think it's uh, Millman's time to shine, I believe. And when you're a player like that, grinding away, does the conditions come into play? Well, absolutely. I guess maybe he's not. Uh, going for as much as, as some other big players might be doing um, and yeah, he's just going to be uh, be able to stay in the, in the rallies a bit longer mm. I guess so um, I mean in saying that maybe the conditions have improved the sun is out yeah. now so um, yeah I think the wind has settled down a little bit it, could, it couldn't have continued <laughs> for as long as it had. was yeah it was uh, it was pretty horrendous out there for a while uh, but you've done a great job out there with uh, Adrian Franklin don't forget, we've got the 100th men's championship coming up as well, and there's plenty of things you can purchase to uh, remember that to uh, buy. Uh, they've got a special men's uh, championship medallion this year being awarded to the winning player, and a replica gold-plated medallion coin has been produced, and you can uh, purchase those for $95 each. There's also a limited edition 100th men's championship T-shirt for $50. There's only 100 produced of those. And uh, there's also men's and women's trophy coins that are tossed at the finals matches for fifteen dollars uh, each. So uh, have you got an iPad, big fella? Have you got an iPad? I don't actually, unfortunately. Fifteen dollars uh, for an iPad cover. Uh, stubby holders ten dollars. There's just so much going on at the Australian Open shop. Having a walk past it earlier, uh, it's a, a nice big shop next to Rod Laver Arena and. Uh, do yourself a favour and uh, get online or come to the tennis even better and uh, go mad. Shop to your drop. <laughs> of course, you can tweet us and we're on Facebook. You can contribute any way you like. AustralianOpen.com as well. Uh, the site you're on, obviously. Uh, live scores, news, photos, statistics and draws. Uh, we're calling it the, the one-stop location for everything Australian Open. We've got the IBM Slam Tracker as well, live scores, real-time statistics and a deeper insight into your favourite player's best strategy 
for success. So AustralianOpen.com, you don't have to go uh, very far for all of the news here from Melbourne Park. Now you were mentioning before there, David, this might be John Millman's time to shine. Why, why do you say that? Perfect uh, chance for him? Well, I think he's come back from his injury, um, well, his, his layoff, his time off in pretty good form and he looks super fit and had a great result in Brisbane qualifying, uh, won three matches there. And yeah, look, I think uh, it's the stars are aligning possibly. So I just, I just think he's, yeah, in these conditions, he's the type of player that should really suit. So he's coming of age, he's 23, 24, starting to get a bit stronger. And well, he's been around for a while, I guess now. Um, but yeah, he's uh, definitely capable of some good tennis. As is his opponent, we must mention, eight seed in qualities. Mm. So mm. Um, he's had a, had a good season. Well, the ninth seed, he has a pretty good, yeah, he's had a good year as well last year, that's for sure. You were giving us the uh, the results earlier on from from Koo Yong and also uh, Sydney. Did you get a, a chance to uh, have a little bit of a look at Leighton Hewitt's match yesterday? I did see a bit of Leighton. It looked uh, looked like he ran out of legs in the mm -hmm. end. He was playing some awesome tennis there for a while, and I think uh, yeah, I'm not sure if he I'm not sure if it was fitness or what it was, but no, I think no, um, Troiki uh, well he just sort of wore him down a bit and. Yeah, I mean, still a good effort by Leighton. He's he's going to be all right at the Open, I think. Hopefully he can get through a couple of rounds, and a lot depends on the draw for him, but hopefully. So John Millman getting us underway here. Third match up on show court three. backhand from Millman. I believe it's probably his strongest side. Uh, forehand occasionally brings out a few errors, but very solid backhand. We saw it on that occasion. He'll be there all day, Millman. Will not go away, that's for sure. He's that type of player. Fifteen third. Just keeps you hitting one more ball, eh? That's for sure. about his uh, biggest strength he said uh, mental toughness not a bad asset for a tennis player that's for sure 40 30 Layden Hewitt based a lot of his game around that that's for sure being one of the toughest players mentally mm. well in history The start he wanted. First game. John Millman takes the first game here. Third matchup on show court three. That's a Cosby Hill to serve. Take your seats quickly, thank you. Amazing when there's about 600 seats left and people are still trying to pick where to sit. <laughs> Thank you. 
We saw a little bit of that grinding there, didn't we? That's a typical point from Millman, just really heavy hitting, move his opponent around, and just kind of wear them down. That's, <laughs> that's the way he plays. Great to watch. Small opening for Millman already in the uh, first service game of Pospisil. How have you found the tennis so far today, mate? Loved every minute of it. Of course you have. Yeah. <laughs> I think the uh, first match we saw on this court was just Topsy turvy, that's a beautiful serve, isn't it? But just a little bit wide. Oh, hang on, we've got some confusion here. Yeah. Might have been a let, I think. Possibly, so didn't hear the call. Turn really early, Milman tried to come in after it. Not a bad tactic. Didn't quite time the ball. But looking to step in and be aggressive on the second serve. gains the upper hand in his service game. He's sending them down pretty quickly. He's averaging about 200 Ks at the moment. Currently ranked 121 in the world. Uh, career high of 119. Um, what are harder names to say on tour? Hospital, over and over, possible. Yeah, that would be <laughs> difficult. Depending on what time of the night it is, too. <laughs> so another chance here for Millman. Uh, David warned us just slowly chipping away looking for an early break in this first set Yes. 
Now we're getting that forehand a little bit late. Need to get a bit more topspin on it. Is the wing that might draw a few more errors for Milman. His backhand's a bit more solid. It's reasonably extreme grip on his forehand. Sometimes brings out a few shanks. Spasil at the moment equal to the task. A little bit more about Possible these idols growing up with Pat Rafter and Roger Federer. Federer obviously still around. Uh, he's, his favourite tennis tournament is the US Open. Um, if he wasn't a tennis player, he'd like to be a soccer player. Great deep backhand from Millman there, heavy topspin. Possible wasn't really in position to play that forehand. Way off court. Better off rolling back cross court, staying in the rally. Could see some long games in this one, Matt. We're in it for the long haul, mate. That's right, looking forward to it. Pretty hard to uh, answer one of those 199 kilometres an hour down the tee. It's amazing the men's game these days. Pretty much every player out there can serve 200 k's an hour. Whereas sort of 15 years ago you wouldn't see that. You might see a handful of the top players do that, but uh, not these days. Uh, Patrick Smith was firing them down earlier on. I think 202 was his quickest. thinking, how am I going to get rid of this bloke? <laughs> it's been a very hard fought second game. That's right, hasn't given anything away at all, Millman. And a bit of luck as well. And another opportunity. One of those ones you put your racket up to say sorry, but inside you're saying, come on. <laughs> Always need a little bit of luck in tennis. It's the first foot fault we've seen today. an early break to John Millman. He leads two games to love in this first set on show court three. And that was a pure lesson in persistence pays in the end. Yeah, he didn't go away and uh, looking for an easy first game, perhaps possible, and he certainly didn't get it. Millman's great defensive skills on show in that last point and drew the error. And off to a great start.
Oh, what fight. Uh, what a fight from John Millman. He can thank Mother Nature for a bit of help halfway <laughs> through there as well. That lob, Pospisil was certain it was going out, but Mother Nature blew it back in. Well, he, he stopped. He sort of had a look around <laughs> for a while and then realised about a second later that's dropping in. It dropped in by about two metres as well. It, it wasn't close. <laughs> Great scrambling from Millman. It must be a little psychological win when you win a point like that too. Absolutely, because you're, you're, you're thinking if you're playing something like that, what do I have to do to win a mm. point? Or you always have to hit an extra shot after an extra shot. And uh, it takes its toll because mentally that kind of builds up as you keep playing. about oh, that right. he was dead and buried and he's picked himself oh, off the canvas yeah. oh, that's a great game Capitalises on the break as well, and this is a good start for the Australian. John Millman in the first set leads three games to love. Can't want a better start than that. Absolutely awesome start from Millman. He's very fired up, already seen five or six come on, and he's hit some awesome shots especially in these conditions seeing that scrambling that tough sort of mentality he has on display already and uh, yeah it's won him uh, won him a couple of crucial points well, there's a few uh, scores from uh, out of courts for you as we were mentioning earlier there's 12 other courts today uh, in operation so there's plenty going on and we see Sergei Bubka there the the son of the pole vaulter, the famous pole vaulter, and uh, he's currently locked in battle at five games all. Anything you, you can see there? Yeah, Carson Ball, another Australian player playing out there. He lost the first set. Uh, he's up in the second set, though, upper break, so hopefully uh, Carson can get over the line. Played the Australian Open Ranger a couple of times now. Lofty. Nodding your head with approval there. Well, just a little bit of a surprise. We saw him try and do it in the first game, uh, on, on the first service game as possible. So. But, uh, yeah, that one um, worked out a bit better. But don't mind it, though, even though he lost the point. Oh. Sort of a hit and charge. Not quite a, the old chip and charge, but st staying aggressive, hitting over the ball, following it in. And that was just a Perfect. clean miss hit. That's right, ball moving a bit on the serve and, and combination with the win. Wild away at that, but uh, didn't quite get the strings. I think the wind has died down a shade here too now. A couple of strange miss hits from both players in the last two points there, Matt. Framers, maybe the wind's are a little bit deceiving from up in the com box here. Well, we've actually seen in the first two matches clean misses, complete airies uh, right? due to the wind. Don't often see that in professional tennis. Just 
missing. This is a little bit more encouraging for the Canadian. To remind you, he's seated eighth. He is. He's definitely favoured to win this match. from Millman. As I said a little bit earlier, quite an extreme grip in the forehand, but as a result does hit it very heavy. Lots of spin. And be able to work his opponent off the court like he did on that occasion. Better from the Canadian. A couple of really nice forehands down the line. And he trails 1 3 as the sun sets over show court 3. As I mentioned earlier, John Millman started playing tennis when he was four years of age. His four sisters. Shona, Cara, Tessa and Bronte all played, so he thought it would be a good idea to do it as well. His favourite food is creme brulee. <laughs> it's a worry for an athlete, an elite athlete. <laughs> it is. Normally expect pizza or Thai food or something like that, but creme brulee. Oh, that stuff's usually in the media room, pizza and pastas. What are you guys even contemplating eating pizza and pasta at times, eh? Well, you know, the carbs, you know, <laughs> if you, you know, you burn that, those carbs off if you're uh, doing a bit of sport. Canadian, would you uh, advise him to stay away from that? I would. Well, we saw from where Millman's position in the court, he didn't actually move hardly from the middle of the, of the court, and Pospisil was doing most of the running. Um, yeah, look, he, he needs to change his tactics if he's going to uh, try and win this match because Millman's going to eat that up. He's eating that one up too. He seems a perfect player uh, to take on a, f a five set match, Millman. He does, yeah. He's not going to go away. And he's super fit. And yeah, that mental toughness, which is uh, mental as his strength. He's looking good at the moment. He leads 4-1. John Millman, the Queenslander. And as they sit down at the change of ends, 
Australian making a good fist of it here as we'll return to Melbourne Park shortly. David, like many of the viewers, uh, I've pricked my ears up at the National uh, Tennis League there. And where's your picture in that uh, ah. terrific promo? You're playing in it, I believe. Yeah, I am. And I should have a chat to the production staff. Because, yeah, I think um, so. Yeah, I should be in that promo. Yeah, they should lift their game. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But yeah, the, the National Tennis League, um, it's played during the second week of the Australian Open. And they had a state division for uh, each state. Well, only three states in the, in the pilot year. And uh, yeah... The top two teams from each state go through to uh, yeah, the National League. So, um, played over the two days on the 25th and 26th of uh, January during the uh, second week of the Open. And, uh, yeah, to see who the uh, the National uh, Club champion team is. So, how are you shaping up for it? Looking all right. Uh, play for Kuyong, and uh, okay. we won the Victorian division uh, here, and yeah. So hopefully we can we go all right. We've got a got a pretty solid team. A few guys that are um, still playing on the tour and former players. Richard Fromberg plays in. Richard in Fromberg, yep. gee. From we saw him walking around before, just okay. watching a bit of the tennis. Has uh, he still got the fro? He's got a shortened version of right. the fro. Okay. <laughs> still got the very out. Uh, Laxadaisical attitude, very just uh, <laughs> easy going is from me. But still playing some pretty good tennis, 41 years uh, Gee as well. He's, old and he's, he's playing very good tennis still. John Pierce as, as well plays um, in my team. and uh, He was the second alternate uh, to miss out in quality. So if two guys had pulled out, he would have got in. So he just missed out. And lots of other good players as we saw in that promo before. Game. So the Canadian claws one game back is plenty happening here at the Australian Open. We've got the Wheelies, of course, in the second week. The Legends. Some great names there. That's, of course, if you can wend your way past the wood fire pizzas at the arena restaurant first. Oh, you're on your beer garden for I was that going matter. to say, when you're on your way to your game for the National Tennis League, just don't rock into the Jacobs Creek open dining uh, right. area. Avoid that part. <laughs> I guess forcing the young Australian not into long rallies will also force errors of your own. Great ball, Johnny. Great hitting from Millman. Moving the ball around, constructing the point, got a shorter ball, hit up the line, well played. seat here. Yeah, it's a great change up the second serve. Going at the tee there to Pospisil's forehand. He's made a few errors off that forehand already. So the shot he goes for a bit more. Yeah. But he can 
do that as well. Great shot. Setting up the buoying up the line and then drawing the shorter ball. Hundred and twenty one in the world, only just out of the main draw, about ten spots out, so he's right in the mix as well. That's a great serve. And it's, he's got a good buffer, hasn't he? Looking good, Millman. Biggest yeah. serve of the match, 198 out wide there. Yeah, he's creeping up towards that uh, 200 kilometre an hour mark. We go to a break, the young Australian leads 5-2. With MLC Tennis Hot Shots, kids are ready for tennis as soon as they can swing a racket. With modified balls, courts and rackets to make things easy, they'll serve, rally and score right away. Visit tennis.com.au today. Now, of course, uh, we heard earlier on, uh, David, from uh, a lovely lady from Austria uh, on Twitter. And we worked it out, it was five minutes to five uh, over there in the morning so you can tweet us anytime you like how do we how do we do it hashtag Oz open Matt you uh, I'm not a I'm not a tweeter tweeter I'm not a tweeter uh, I might have to you might have to teach me by the end of the week okay yeah yeah maybe we'll set you up a, an account yeah that might be the go yeah yeah get you going okay but, uh, but send by all means in. yeah send them in hashtag Oz open we even got one in a different language. We think it was from Uzbekistan. Okay. But uh, Brett's uh, skills uh, there didn't quite. Couldn't work out. What couldn't work out. No. Body language for the Canadians not. Great, is it? Not looking good. You can see those shoals are quite drooped at the moment, muttering a few words to himself. Oh. That's just missed. You look up the other end, you see Millman chest out, lots of fist pumps. He's uh, he's really fired up. Very positive body language. Great to see if you break here and then start serving at the start of the second set. Well, if he was able to take this first set, it's been quite a demoral demoralising win, really, in the first set. Possible oh! having a little look at that. Look just a shade long. He can hustle when he wants to as well, Millman. Certainly can. He, he expected it was a tough shot, but he actually expected to make that. You can see by his reaction. Mm. He gets a racket on the ball. Even if he's stretched, he still expects to make just about every shot. Canadian was a little bit nervous when that lob went up <laughs> after his earlier effort. He might have had nightmares from the one earlier in the f in the first set. Here's a big chance for 
John Millman to go one set up after what's been an impressive first 35 minutes. Good counter serve though, 194 clicks. Good point from Milman, set it up pretty well. Didn't quite get the racket underneath the ball then. A little bit late coming down on it. Just need to drop the racket head a little bit lower, get beneath the ball coming up. But, uh, good sign though, still played a, a very good point. So the Canadian was able to fight back there and after 36 minutes on show court three, the Australian Millman leads 5-3. I haven't asked you, uh, have you got an early tip for the Australian Open? Tough to say. I, I said about a month ago I thought Federer. But uh, he just finished the season off very well last year. Um, I think a Smokey could come through, like a Sondra or a Murray. Mm. Wouldn't be surprised if one of those two yeah, yeah. Oh, exactly yeah, I, spotted, uh, I spotted Murray earlier on, actually, uh, over uh, near Rod Laver Arena. So he's around. He's around. Is he in the ball right? He's definitely on the premises. Who's your tip, Matt? I'm going to stick with the favourites. Novak? Mm -hmm. He hasn't put a foot wrong, has he? And uh, he could be... We, we could be watching the next Fedra. We could be. He's, uh, his season last year was unbelievable. One of the best... Uh, well, one of the best seasons ever on the tour. That's for sure. Three Grand Slams. Incredible win-loss record. I think the great thing about a Grand Slam is there's so many different ways to, to look at the event and I'll be very interested to see how Tomic goes as every Australian is but uh, how do you think he'll go? Oh, he's, he's in great form and he, obviously we saw him he beat Burdich in, at Kuyong uh, earlier today he's, he's been in, in top Nick Tomic currently 37 in the world as well mm. career high wouldn't be surprised if he got through to a quarter or, or I mean Beyond that might be tough, but yeah, wouldn't be see, wouldn't be surprised if we had another big run from uh, Tomic like he did at Wimbledon. Oh, that's just missed. Forehand down the line. The Canadian continuing just to force the pace a little bit more in the rallies. He doesn't want to get trapped into a, a slog fest. But uh, Millman's two points away from the set at 30 all. Chance now. Flirted with the line once, and to that one too long. 
What would you be advising him here, Dave? Well, hopefully he can pull off another big serve like he did uh, just a point ago. Just a few errors from uh, Pospisil's back end in the last couple of games, perhaps taking that. Gee, that looked out to me. Yeah, and the umpires overruled it. We're sitting a fair distance from that line. The Canadian's not happy about it, but it did look out. It did. Sets up set point again for Millman. Millman's raring to go. He wants to serve. Set point. Tighten up. Possibly a little tighten up. I think you heard him mutter to himself, watch the ball. Maybe took his eye off the ball a little bit too early then. Back to Juice. Well, that's definitely out. And Millman gets another chance. Probably an awkward time in the afternoon. The sun is setting. A lot of shadows on the court as well, which might distract the players. Ball moving in and out of shadows is always hard. And that's out. And that's been an impressive first set. He's looked terrific. John Millman. Massive smile on his face as he walks to the chair. 6-3, bit of a swagger about him as well. Millman looking the goods out here on show court three. 6-3, John Millman first set. We'll see how he goes in the second after this. see tennis hot shots kids are ready for tennis as soon as they can swing a racket with modified balls courts and rackets to make things easy they'll serve rally and score right away visit tennis.com.au today Set underway at Melbourne Park. John Millman winning the first. Each shot he seems to hit harder. He does. He's loving it. He's it like these long rallies like we saw in the first set, uh, he eats them up and he's going to be there all day. Possible hasn't come into net, well he might have come in once I think and he, and he lost the point. Perhaps he should look at doing that, especially in the wind, I mean it's, it's always a good option. But uh, he needs to change up his game because Millman's loving this right now. Look, 
A lot more attacking that time, the Canadian. He, uh, he ate that one for breakfast. <laughs> one thing that has gone well for him is he served so far. He's got a lot of free points off the serve. And set up then with the short ball from the serve. Late call. I think it was the right one, though. So already a chance to break for John Millman. Great way to answer. Very hard to get those back. Thumping it down at 193 clicks. He's done that a few times when he's been in trouble with Pospisil. Put out a few big serves. Does it again on that occasion. Millman though, looking threatening already in the second set. shot from Millman. Possible coming into net, we hadn't seen it, I mentioned just uh, a few moments ago. Probably a good option, he just took one big step though when he went to take the volley. Um, probably needed two or three quick steps in there. Didn't look super comfortable when he came in. It was a tough, tough ball to hit, Millman's dipping backhand. A little bit lazy with the footwork. Yes. Advantage possible. It's a bit of a slog for him to win a game, the Canadian, isn't it? It is. Not many free points, especially from the back of the court. We've seen a few on his serve, but once he gets in these long rallies... And he has taken the first game, first game. of set. the second set. It is Vasek Pospisil from Canada leading one love. Important for the Canadian to get off to a good start there, to get back into this match. If he'd lost that game, and you might have seen those shoulders droop a little more, and Millman really could have run away with this. But... He's 121 in the world, so he knows how to fight. He knows how to uh, play some some tennis. So we expect from him as well not to go away. Himself a bit of a dressing down. <laughs> How
How are the tweets going well, there, Dave? I was going to say, keep those tweets coming through. Hashtag Oz Open. A lot of congratulations to Peter Luce after winning his first round. As we just saw in show court three. Um, he'll be trending soon. You might not know what that means, though, on Twitter, Matt. <laughs> I've got <laughs> it'll be, the it'll gist. be a hot topic. I've got the gist. <laughs> but, uh, Turn it, off. it can't be a bad thing, can it? No, it cannot be a bad thing. It isn't a bad thing. <laughs> No doubt the uh, Oz Open will be trending uh, constantly on Twitter in the next few weeks. Possible moving Milman around nicely then. Mixing it up a bit, haven't seen him bring Milman in too much. Through a drop shot. Making him work, but Milman does move very well. We've seen that already. But not a bad change up from the Canadian. Needs to mix up his play a bit more. He's pumped, and rightly so. One John Millman, second set, one game all. Important here for Millman to keep this momentum going. Played an awesome first set. Those low, flat hits from the Canadian were almost falling into the Australian's lap. As you were saying earlier, he's just eating them up. He is. He's loving the longer rally goes for you, he loves it. And we've seen a couple of times that Possible's mixed it up a little bit in the last couple of games, but he needs to do a bit more of that. Otherwise, could we see much more of the first set here in the second set? We've seen a lot of that today. Ball tosses going awry. going into row four. Big second serve from Possible. Interesting to see. He wears a chain on the outside of his shirt when he plays. So that would be annoying. <laughs> It'll be flying around, maybe hitting him in the face a bit. We're covering the big issues here. <laughs> it's like... Uh, the tennis players wearing caps at night. That's right. Just used to it, I suppose. Yeah. 
15. Man, two games ago that had the the body slumped. He was uh, not displaying any vibrancy at all. Now he's a little bit pumped. He's up in his toes now. Sign from him. Over hitting that forehand a little bit, Millman. Just needs to make sure on that forehand he doesn't pull off it too early. With that grip, still needs to come through the ball a little more. Great depth from Millman. The Canadian, a little bit lazy playing that shot. Just tried to fetter a half volley from the baseline. Didn't really move his feet though. It was a brave second serve, nice and deep, but uh, he survives. And it's the Canadian leading 2-1 second set down a set as we take a break. Welcome back to uh, Melbourne Park. We were talking about that Legends competition, Dave. In the men, we've got Evgeny Kafelnikov, Henri Leconte. We've got uh, Goran Ivanisevic, Guy Fourget, Wayne Arthurs, Matt Verlander, Mark Woodford, Todd Woodbridge. In the women's, Nicole Bradke, Martina Hingis, Martina Navratilova, and Eva Maioli. It's not a bad lineup. Not a bad lineup at all. Who would you uh, like to see most oh. out of that group there? Well, they're all wonderful players, aren't they? I see that Hingis, see how she's still going yeah. around. Yeah. Used to be a favourite of mine. Kafelnikov, I, uh, I saw a photo of him not long ago. That put on a little bit of weight. Maybe carrying a bit more than he was. And of course, uh, Malonri. Let him loose with a microphone and anything can happen. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Very entertaining. The junior championships as well. Uh, Dave start on the 22nd to the 28th. And there's plenty to watch. He is pumped now. Had plenty of open court to work with there. Three rate points. We've seen two of them. He's brought Millman into net, which is uh, not a bad tactic. Made him move up the court. And he's uh, managed to pass him both times. Now he's got three opportunities for a break. Yeah, 
and does. So what's changed? What's changed in half an hour, Dave? Well, super aggressive game then from the Canadian. He stepped in on every return and took it early and just tried to dictate the point a little bit more, took a few more risks and, and they paid off. And, and he also brought me on into net a couple of times, just mixing up the play a bit and uh, just, yeah, that, that paid off, I think, just changed that change up in play. But uh, he's managed to keep his, his attitude really positive uh, going into the second set where we saw the second... Uh, at the start of the, sorry, the uh, end of the first set, he was uh, very negative and very down himself, but um, no, he's pretty fired up, is the uh, possible soul. So we should see these fighting qualities of Milman on display here. He's not going to go away. Supporter uh, in the crowd, picked up by the FX microphones, saying, great hustle, Johnny. Can't disagree with that. That's right. Great ability to get the ball down low at the Canadian's feet as he moved in there. Doesn't look that comfortable. The net uh, does pass whistle. He didn't really get down at all to that volley. Kind of chopped at it. Might be a bit more of a tactic to perhaps bring him in. This is more the play you would expect from someone seated eight in the qualifying. He was a bit stunned in the first set, I think. He was, and he probably didn't quite know what to expect from Milman. Looking a bit more comfortable out there now. Big serve, 205 kilometres an hour. It's just about the quickest we've seen. See again, then Possible coming into net and not quite doing, or well not quite knowing what to do with the volley. Comes in with uh, not too much intention, very kind of lackadaisical. Doesn't move his feet that much. A little bit casual when coming in. from Johnny there. After an hour of play, the lights are being turned on here on show court three. Play getting underway about two hours later than uh, scheduled due to rain. Yeah. 
that's beautiful. That's picture perfect stuff. Great tennis for Millman. Really good return, changing it up, just blocking it back, keeping the ball low. We saw again Possible not really doing much with the volley. And uh, Millman just threading that passing shot up the line. Break point, get back on serve here. Yes. Well, that, uh, that's an exemplary serve, isn't it? Well, 94 out wide with a lot of angle as well. He's done that on a fair few occasions so far. Managed to pull out a big serve when he's needed it. It's the one thing that stayed pretty solid even when he was losing that first set. It was very close. It's just been able to get a bit of chalk. Pospisil looking to capitalise on this buffer and go 4-1 up. And he does so. He leads 4-1. Number eight one. seed in this qualifying competition at the Australian Open in 2012. Vasek Pospisil from Canada. Leading John Millman from Australia in this second set. Four games to one. More shortly on AustralianOpen.com. Welcome back to Melbourne Park and, well, a different uh, set to the first, a real turnaround and this is very much looking like the Canadians set, he leads 4-1, how does Millman turn this one around? Well, I think he's actually not playing much worse than he was in the first set, I think actually the Canadians stepped it up and he's playing better tennis than he was. Millman didn't really do that much wrong in the uh, in the service game that he dropped. The counting was just too good. So if he just sticks at it, beautiful point there. If he just sticks at it, uh, uh, I think he can still turn it around. As I mentioned earlier, lights are, are on here now. Little bits of sprinkly rain, but nothing too drastic at the moment. I'm sure, the umpires a close watch of that situation. That's a brilliant shot. It was very close to being out the shot of Pospisils, but it didn't matter because uh, Millman has threaded a perler. That doesn't lift you, nothing will. Great lob. Great option as well, going to lob. Possible was really closing in on the net then. Excellent game so far from Millman. If I was the Canadiens coach, I'd be uh, concentrating on his net play um, after this match. Nah, you can't get those back. 177 right down the middle. Millman still with a bit of work to do, though, in this second set. Really positive game there from Millman. When he hit to love. It's a pressure straight back on the Canadian here. Any further uh, tweets there, Dave? 
Get them coming up shortly. So I say we, we couldn't believe it earlier on. We got a, a tweet from Austria. Would have been about five in the morning. Just uh, shows you it doesn't matter what part of the world you're in. You can watch uh, the Australian Open qualify. So on six points in a row now, Milman, on a hot run, he's fired up. Huge opportunity to get back on level pegging. You're mentioning the net play of uh, the Canadian, I think he'd like that volley back. Yeah, it certainly needs a bit of work. told himself the Canadian don't try that again <laughs> he's uh, just walked into the house of mirrors <laughs> went for it too much why not though at love 40? That's right, it was there to be hit. Still two more opportunities. And there's the break, and we're back on an even killer. Back on serve, the Canadian's thrown his break away. And it is Pospisil 4-3 as we go to a break. on that promo there, Dave. <laughs> we'll get that changed, don't <laughs> worry, before the week's out. National Tennis League coming up on the 25th and 26th of January. So for those that have just tuned in, uh, it's out uh, on one of these outer courts, is it? Yep, on the uh, on the outside courts. they taking about three or four, I'd imagine. Mm -hmm. uh, six teams from different states, the, the best uh, six club teams um, from around Australia yeah, competing for the uh, national championship. So... She was in great tennis, and you're going to see some uh, current pros and some former pros and some and some young gun juniors. So should be really good as we can see through uh, that promo there. Matt Ebden and Olivia Rogowska, just to name a couple, both playing main draw Australian Open. Well, they, they still might be going, so they might be unavailable. You never know. Wouldn't that be nice? That would be great. Just caught up with it, Ebden, going down uh, in heartbreaking fashion behind uh, Baghdadis today at 
at Homebush in Sydney. He got so close. Yeah, that's right. Losing 7-6 in the third set. Great performance from Ebden. He must feel like he belongs in that top 100. He's uh, had some really good results in the last six months and consolidated his spot there. Millman serving with new balls here too. Very tough serving conditions, still blowing a fair bit out there. That's where you need it. Mix your serve up a bit and perhaps not go for as much. Place it a bit more. Oh, he's found it. That's a class shot from Pospisil. Awesome second serve from Milman as well to get him off court. But uh, that's top shot. Great lob in these conditions. And now Pospisil has three opportunities to break. The Milman serve. One saved. Too much, and he knows it. Remonstrating with himself now. I wonder what he's unhappy with. Maybe a bit of movement in the crowd, I'm not sure. But it's an important game for Pospisil. He leads 5-3 and is now serving for the second set. Don't forget to go to changingends.com.au as well. Tennis fans have made some short films using the theme Tennis Essence. You can go online and view all of the entries. The uh, entries will be judged by a panel of three, including Craig Tiley. Terrific serve there by the Canadian. Also an ATP WTA player and a film industry professional. The winner uh, receives $5,000 cold hard cash and uh, the winning entry will be shown on the big screens at the Open. So they'll be good to watch. They will be. Have you got the entry in yet, Matt? No. Just short planning films it. aren't my go. <laughs> <laughs> I think Brett Phillips, my co-commentator, though, was... Got a couple of voiceovers. He's got the golden tonsils. So He'll be gearing up for that one, that's for sure. Now his, uh, his fee's too high. <laughs> Charges a fortune. Pulling off that forehand very early there, the Canadian plus whistle. Doesn't want to follow it into net. Perfect ball to come in, but obviously what we've seen so far with his net play is uh hasn't been fantastic. Too confident coming in. Oh, 
34. Bit more of the fist pumping going on now. And another break point. Hasn't this been a topsy turvy set? They're like corks in the ocean, going up and down, but. A chance here for the Australian. You can hear the supporters in the crowd, great hustle, mm. great hustle, and it was for Millman. It's tough to watch Possible at net, I have to say. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I like coming into net myself. and You did have your head arched <laughs> in your hands there. I didn't what, know what was happening. What is he thinking? <laughs> I mean, on top of the net, put the ball away. It's just, he, he is clueless. He could be top 100 in the world if he could volley. I'm just putting it out there. Not, not showing away from it now, just being blunt. More from the second set shortly. So, we have uh, an interesting end to this second set. Coming to you live from Melbourne Park. That's a beauty. Well, that's what he's capable of. Some heavy hitting, very smooth sometimes. He is on his ground strokes, pops us all. Set that up really nicely. Ball. the Canadian saying it could be his last match uh, if this keeps going on. Not too happy with himself again. That's the longest rally we've seen for a while and no surprise to see Millman win it. We've seen those when those rallies go on, he's just not quite sure what to do, Pospisil. Millman's just so solid from the back of the court. He's getting it that deep as well. Game points to tie it up for here for Millman at five all in the second set. Take your seats, thank you. Mm, late call. It was the right one. Mm. 
That's yeah, missed. So John Millman has leveled it up at five games all. As we head towards the business end of this match on show court three. And we're heading into the one and a half hour mark of this match. Had a bit of power behind that one. Beautifully set up there. Possible really got in position early. Can hit a big forehand. about to have an anxiety attack <laughs> as the Canadian went to the net there but he's handled that okay <laughs> <laughs> not sure it was the cleanest of volleys but he's won the point <laughs> of course after this match another Australian Luke Saville of course the uh, junior Wimbledon champion and runner up here the junior Australian Open last year plays at Evo Menard So the Canadian with an important hold and they go to their chairs with Pospisil up in the second set. Six games to five as we continue through our live coverage of the qualifying from the Australian Open 2012. Welcome back. This uh, is getting to an interesting end of the second uh, set. Can Millman level this up and do a Peter Luchak, go into a tie break and take the second set? You're on edge, big fella. <laughs> Great scramble from Millman. It's possible, so just once again, not sure what to do with the volley. Great change up with the serve. Heavy kick, a lot of angle on it. Kind of serve you could follow in as well to net. Great serve in the win. A bit of zip to it. 189. Yeah. This has been a, an easy game. It's exactly what Merwin wants going to the tie break. 
so we'll get there. Looking good. Ah, that's superb. Easiest uh, game we've seen all day. Out of the three matches, in fact. John Millman levels it up. And we now have a tie break to decide the second set. Who are you picking for the tie break, Matt? Ooh, depends how many times the Canadian goes to the net, I suppose. <laughs> I think That's you're it. right. That's the difference. Good start to the tie break for the young Australian. Good serve from Millman. Canadians attacked. Levels it up. into a baseline rally again where does he go though Dave does he go to the net or does he stay on the baseline well, I don't think he should come to net but when he's been winning most of his points he's been constructing it with his forehand and I think that's that's what he needs to do try and set it up so he gets more forehands trying to get a few cross court rallies One-two punch there from the Canadian. Big serve out wide. Excellent forehand. It scraped over the net, but it did the job. It was a great volley. He, he dug it out well then. First one we've seen in a while. It was a tough one too, dipping down low. 3-2. Possible. It's a pretty tight tie break at this point. It's a wild one. play for Millman looking confident all square as they change ends here in this tie break in the second set don't forget tickets for the Australian Open at ticker tech and great tickets available great value as well ground passes uh, under $30 even tickets to sessions on high sense arena under 45 and then just a little bit more for Rod Laver Arena, as you'd expect. Best value in town. It's the best day out in town as well. 
four, three, Neil Mott. So he's probably seeing the checkered flag from here. Three points away. If he can get one of these, really set the setup for him, or the match up for him. Pressure's back on the Canadian. to move than he than he initially thought he had I think I think so wind kind of pushed the ball in towards him a little bit as well but if he just made possible sort of play then could have been in with a good shot massive point here for all Very close to the line. Millman having a good look at it. The tie break remains on serve. Pospisil has a couple of set points up his sleeve. Milman not moving up to the ball quick enough there, just letting it drop. Another free point here on his serve if he can. That's exactly five. what's happened, but Four now Pospisil two. will try and serve here for the second set. missed and, second set. and the Four Canadian two. has won Seven the tie break six. and the second set Last it's set going up. into a decider so another three setter here on show court three it is developing into a little battle this one now it's evening right up one set all on australianopen.com <laughs> Welcome back to uh, Melbourne Park. We're into a third set. John Milman, an opportunity to close it out in that uh, second set tiebreaker. Brett Phillips uh, rejoining the uh, commentary and I think courtside uh, watching a fair bit of this match. Fairly uh, chilly uh, Wednesday evening uh, here in Melbourne. Taking on uh, Vasek Pospisil of Canada, uh, the eighth seed here and certainly a very good uh, future prospect. 
but uh, John Millman, he's been in some uh, decent form this year. Having got through qualifying in uh, Brisbane, making it through to the first round, and certainly putting up a very good showing here against uh, the higher ranked opponent. As we tick towards uh, 8 o'clock in the evening here on day one of qualifying. If you're joining us late, wherever you might be around the globe, whatever time Hi, zone you're in, we did start about three and a half sir. hours late today due to the rain here in Melbourne. But uh, we are getting through a stack of matches and uh, having just uh, wandered around a number of the uh, outside courts, a lot of the action still going on. And obviously all the courts have uh, lights here, so we'll continue until we... Uh, Game's completed. Good aggressive start. Hospital. Just been sitting near his uh, coach and fitness trainer uh, at ground level and Encouraging the young man on. Whereas uh, John Millman's got a little bit of hometown support, being uh, an Aussie boy, he's got a little contingent of uh, supporters, some close friends, some family here. Oh! earlier today on our main court it was uh, Farouk Dustov of Uzbekistan who defeated the Aussie John Patrick Smith that was a good match to start Peter Luchak good story of the day trying to qualify for his last Australian Open getting through in straight sets good deep shot there from Ospisal plenty of pace Australian perspective, uh, Michael Look and Chris Guccione uh, beaten out on uh, court six earlier today. The girls are going to be in action tomorrow. I'll uh, give you some of the, those draw details uh, shortly. In fact, I remember being here at the same time last year where John Millman played a fairly long uh, three-set match may have been, I think, the first or second round of uh, qualifying. So he's uh, been in this situation before. So Milwin fights back well. He holds serve in the opening game of this uh, third set. Opening round men's qualifying match. That man on screen with... A fair bit of energy on court. Taking on his uh, Canadian opponent, the eighth seed, uh, Vasek Ospisil. We've still got, uh, of course, Luke Seville uh, coming up. The uh, good young prospect from uh, South Australia taking on Eva Minar of the uh, Czech Republic. Uh, this is what's currently happening around Melbourne Park at the moment. We can see uh, Australia's uh, James Lemke out there on uh, court six. Uh, trying to get on the board in the uh, opening set, so we'll follow his progress. Uh, Maverick Baines also oh. in action, the young Australian trailing 6-5 in the opening set. Good 
touch there from Millman at the net. You'd love to get an early uh, break in this uh, third set just to get a bit of momentum. Speaking of man of momentum, David Bidmead, <laughs> he's back. That's right, quick toilet break and uh, <laughs> back in the action. Love Millman's body language, very positive. He is, isn't he? Loses yep. the second set and he's just straight back at it. Being one of Pospisil's main plays today, that big serve out wide and then opening up for a forehand. Probably goes wide on that ad side about 60 to 70 percent of the time. Definitely one of his better serves. Nice little lucky break for Millman. Yeah, I've been uh, keen to listen to your comments on uh, Pospisil. Obviously, he's a, he's a future player in the making. He's obviously uh, outside the top 100. Missing uh, the direct acceptance. Not by much, though. Obviously, having a terrific year. And the main draw in Valencia, he actually defeated uh, John Isner in the first round. A couple of futures wins. So a nice little door opening up for John Millman, a couple of break points, so he's uh, certainly got uh, some good prospects, but obviously still a work in progress, but we've seen Milos Ranić come through for uh, Canada, of course, so maybe it's on the up, uh, Canadian tennis. I think it is, they're starting to become a bit of a force, the Canadians, and uh, possibly only young, 21-22. Mm. Uh, Pounces on that short ball. Still one that break point here for Millman. Millman just looks like he loves it out, loves being out there. Almost a smile on his face when he plays. Right there, yes. Hospital d dictating that point. No one on the back foot at the uh, other end of the court, so he gets it back to Juice. Seeing Possible come into net, they always just get a bit nervy here when he comes in. He hasn't had much success so far this match. He's been able to work his way back into this game, uh, being 15-40 down only moments ago. Getting close to the two-hour mark in this game. Serve. Dropped his head very early in yeah. his left arm as well then. Looking up at his coach and saying a few words. Had a bit of curve, but it was 
Okay. Isn't it? A lot of movement on that smash. <laughs> Not a bad option to let it bounce, actually. The ball was moving a lot, given the wind and mm. conditions here. Square in this uh, third set. First round at men's qualifying action here at uh, Melbourne Park. Great to have you with us on AustralianOpen.com uh, and of course through uh, the Australian Open YouTube channel and uh, Facebook page as well. Whatever time zone you're in, hope you're enjoying the tennis, the entree to the Australian Open main draw. Where's the Just a little update from the uh, Amy Classic 2. Gail uh, Monfils defeating uh, Andy Roddick. That match uh, finished just a little while ago. Where do you see Andy Roddick in his career? I think he's on the way down. Probably, well he's probably got maybe one or two more years, I guess, left in him at the top. Yeah, I think so, Dave. I think uh, certainly <coughs> Grand Slams are beyond him now, unfortunately. Yeah. But uh, gee, you'll uh, you'll look back at his career and when he's a little bit older and he's just sitting in his recliner chair somewhere. Gee, oh, I got close. I've just played in the ear of. Unbelievable players around me to make uh, what three Wimbledon finals, I think, or two or three. Yeah, I think it was, yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. Tell you for the uh, spectators sitting outside, it's uh, we're, we're quite happy to come back in here. It's pretty brisk in Melbourne tonight. You wouldn't think it's summer. Those overseas viewers probably don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Great second serve from Melbourne, cramping possible still there. Holds to love goes to Milan one. Leads two games to one. So uh, Milman with a two one at lead here on show court three. And uh, let's uh, take a look at some of the matches in progress at the moment. Uh, Dave we've got a couple of Aussies out on court. James Lemke out there on court six. So he's uh, in fact fighting his way back because he was three love down just a short time ago. So he's been able to get a nice little roll there. Maverick Baines uh, losing the uh, opening set. Out on uh, court seven, uh, big Igor Andre of the uh, fifth seed in the men's qualifying about to get his match uh, underway. Uh, Marcel Ilhan, of course, from Turkey, the uh, fourth seed. So that is going to a uh, third set against uh, Delic. And uh, of course, Daniel Brands and uh, Daniel Udumchuk, who have been around on the scene for uh, quite some time. That match about to get underway out on uh, court number 14. And uh, that is what is uh, currently taking place here at uh, Melbourne Park as we get through a stack of matches on uh, day one. Some of those men's matches will carry over till tomorrow and the girls are in action as well, which yeah. uh, will be uh, good to see. Uh, five matches for broadcast here on uh, Show Court 3. We'll give you those details shortly. And of course, Luke Seville to come after this, Brett. A yeah, tough day for him, isn't it, to yeah. sit around... All day and wait. That's right. I saw him up in the stands about half an hour ago watching a bit of Millman's match. It's uh, probably pretty chilly for him. So back undercover. But yeah, very tough for players hanging around. No, I think Millman knew as soon as it came off his record that it wasn't the right option that lob. Didn't have 
the grunt that it needed. There's that big serve from Possessal out wide. A lot of free points off that one. Definitely his go-to serve when he needs it. Interesting call. Your initial thoughts? Didn't think it was a let. No, <laughs> I thought that was uh, totally clear, and I was obviously thinking the same until the umpire's detected a. That's right. The machine goes off. Not a bad reply. Possible holds, and uh, we're all square. Third and deciding set. You get a feeling this one's going to go for a little while, unless one can uh, break the trend of this match. Very even tussle here. And apart from the early in the first set where Millman got on top, it's been a pretty level match. Canadian fought back in the second set and played a bit more positive tennis. To control a few rallies. Ah. Seeing that Millman, he's, he's not going to go away. He doesn't have massive weapons, but he hits the ball very heavy and he's just going to be there all day. Touch uh, coming in. The big man. Got down nice and low to that one. A bit lower than he had on a few others. Yeah, so, player on the rise. Hospital, they played in Chennai recently and got through qualifying there. And Andreas Beck in the uh, opening round. So, he's gone from around 300 in the world to just outside the top 100. Doesn't guarantee you anything at this stage. Rest of play. So just get a feeling if possible can find his range here and keep being aggressive. He may just get on top of Melbourne as you said, Dave. He's just a good very, very good competitor. Scraps hard, chases down every ball. He's looking pretty good, the Canadian. So it might just open up here. A couple of break points. The fifth game. Right on the two hour mark. Come before the storm here at Melbourne Park. This place uh, in a week's time. About 600,000 spectators uh, coming through across the fortnight. Ah. 
Just pressing that forehand a little too much. Still, that's the kind of shot that he wants to be going for. Mid-court ball. He's won a lot of points off his forehand today so far. Pospisil. Definitely there to be hit. Milman needs to keep the ball a little deeper. Otherwise, he's going to be in a bit of trouble here. So a double fault gives the Canadian a break. He'll uh, head to the chair, leading it three games to two in this uh, third and deciding set. We'll uh, take a break and uh, be back with a whole lot more as day one of qualifying continues down here at Melbourne Park. MLC Tennis Hot Shots, kids are ready for tennis as soon as they can swing a racket. With modified balls, courts and rackets to make things easy, they'll serve, rally and score right away. Visit tennis.com.au today. As we welcome you back to uh, Melbourne Park, that man on screen has uh, got the edge of the Canadian. Vasek Hospital of Canada. The uh, ninth ah. seed here in uh, qualifying, and uh, he's got the break here. Three games to two in the uh, third set against Australia's John Millman. Just a quick update down at the Hobart International. The two Australians, of course, are uh, playing down in the night session uh, tonight. Yamila Gaitasova and uh, Anastasia Rodionova. And it's set apiece, going to a third uh, with Yamila holding a serve in the opening game of that uh, third set. It's a second round action down there at the uh, Hobart International, one of the key lead-up events to the Australian Open. Kind of feel this match is on the Canadian's racket a little bit. If he plays his best tennis, as we've seen, he can get on top here. Milman just staying at a very good level, very solid level. Doesn't really drop off. Ball did look for long for mine, but uh, we are at the opposite end of the court here on show court three. John Millman showing his uh, displeasure with the call. But, uh, as we saw, Dave, with the AO Walker playoff, we don't have Hawkeye out here, and it's the call of the Lions people, the chair umpire. That's right, the traditional way. We might mm. see it one day, though. Mm. being a lines person is to maintain that concentration. So here for Millman, the double fault. I think also to main, maintain a straight face when you've uh, got a player yelling at you. Yeah. Awesome off forehand from Pospisil. Moved around that really well. Got it out in front. Oh. 
Dictating the point there with a good first serve. And uh, he now has got a very nice little buffer in this uh, third and deciding set. The Canadian leading Australia's John Milman on screen there. Four games to two. Some work to do here for the Aussie. Putting there. Never a good sight when you see a player go down. Looks okay though, Milman. Just a quick update of the uh, Apia International in Sydney on Ken Rosewell Arena. It's the uh, world number two, Petra Gavitova, three love in the opening set, leading Daniela Hunter-Cover there in the night session. And as I mentioned, a set of piece between Yamila Gaitasova and Anastasia Rodinova down in Hobart. Ah. Not quite setting up early enough on that forehand, Milman, getting a little bit late. Little wafter coming to the box uh, since dinner's arrived. And My stomach just rumbled, actually, Brett. Those, uh, <laughs> key people next door, uh, please leave me something. Just something. Bread roll, anything. Love <laughs> for Long from okay. Millman, so Hospital's going to come out and serve for the match. Now the commanding uh, five Fire two lead in this uh, third and deciding set. We'll uh, take a break from uh, Melbourne Park. We'll see if we can close it out. We'll also check in with the other courts when we return. MLC Tennis Hot Shots, kids are ready for tennis as soon as they can swing a racket. With modified balls, courts and rackets to make things easy, they'll serve, rally and score right away. Visit tennis.com.au today. the National Tennis League going to be a big event here at the Australian Open and uh, the man on screen serving for the match and he's well on the way to doing that 30 love Vasek Hospital of Canada 21 year old from uh, Vancouver Now only a point away. 
Three match points. Newman not quite doing enough with that low ball there. Just hitting up the middle of the court. Possible looking very confident in this uh, third set. Another winner off the record of Basik Pospisil of Canada, who moves through to the second round of men's qualifying here at the Australian Open with a 3 6, 7 6, 6 2 victory over Australia's John Millman. As we've seen so often, uh, John's uh, matches uh, Ken Stritchett. He gives you value for money, there's no doubt about that, but in the end, his uh, Canadian opponent just uh, playing the big points well, really being super aggressive. And, uh, gee, he put his foot down the blink of an eye, didn't he? He did, yeah. 2-1 uh, in the third set, and he just uh, stepped it up. And he served well the whole match, I thought. And uh, that's the one thing that sort of didn't let him down even when he was losing. And uh, he actually got better as the match went on. And so did his forehand. He got a lot of free points off his forehand. And probably just the ability to be able to hit a bit bigger shot and, and a few more winners than, than Millman uh, was the difference, I think, in the end. Yeah, absolutely. So that completes... Another match here on our broadcast court. We've got uh, one to go. It's, uh, of course, Australia's Luke Seville. Who, uh, we've been uh, singing his praises for a little while, coming through uh, nicely. A Wimbledon junior champion, developing his game all the time. Every time we uh, see him play, taking on Ivo Minar of uh, the Czech Republic. 180 in the world has been as high as 62 back in 2009. That match uh, coming up next, live here from Melbourne Park.